Hello everyone. So today I'll be discussing with you about a very cool feature of Salesforce Flow that was actually a beta feature previously, but now it is generally available from summer 24 release onwards. So as you can see on my screen, this is a screen flow here and it makes use of a repeater component. So if I want to repeat this part of the screen component multiple times, then just by clicking add, it will be repeated as many number of times as you want to. And it can be also removed by clicking on this remove button. So let's say I want to create multiple contact records being on the same page here. Then I can do it using this repeater component. Let me first check whether there are any existing contact records or not. And all. Okay. So there are no contact records. So I will create two contact records from this screen. Just let me fill these two contact details. I have one lookup component as well with account. So there is a flow that I have already created behind the scene, which takes care of taking this uh, user input and creating the multiple uh, contact records based on the number of iterations that I have used. Okay. Let me refresh this screen and there should be two contacts created with properly aligned with their respective account. So what will I do is I will go to my different or create the flow from scratch and help you understand this new functionality of uh, repeater basically so it is always good to understand a concept or functionality while getting hands-on experience or implementing it in a real-time scenario so I will search for flows this is my separate org here I will create a new screen flow quickly create from scratch next screen flow create so first of all, there should be a screen that will have that form to enter the contact details. Let me name this screen as contact slash s contacts detail screen. All right. And then under this component section, you will get something called a repeater. This is what we'll be using here. So this is the entire repeater section inside which we will be having our input input columns like first name last name and account let's name it as repeater component all right and then we will have our input input sections like first name for we'll take first name let's name it as first name let all the properties the same as it is we'll take another text input column here again okay it went down mm, let me first remove it and bring it again here let's name it as last name and it should be required because last name is a required field in contact object. We'll also have one lookup, which will have a lookup to our account object. Account field API name will be account ID. So it is actually the actual field API name of that uh, account field which exists in the contact object. The label will be account and which object it, which what is the object name from which this lookup properties will be fetched so from contact object i want to fetch this account id lookup field properties so it will have it will take care of everything after that okay so this screen configuration is done we'll move on to the next part the next part should be okay let me first save this and we'll show you something repeater flow demo say let me quickly debug it once and you will see something run so whatever details i add here how they will be accumulated that is what i want to show okay let's mark it has finished so here you will find that under the repeater component these are the input columns that have been passed 
and this is the output that my repeater component generates what it generates is all items it is the name of the collection which consists of all the data that i have filled in inside that repeater component so you can see it it frames the collection variable inside itself and just return that as an output this is what we are going to make use of now so we'll have an uh, first of all we'll have a loop uh, loop to iterate over all those components all those uh, input form or the records that have been filled up and then clicked on next because we don't know what particular which particular data type or which particular s object records are being entered there so we have to iterate over that uh, list of output that that our repeater has generated iterate over records and here you can choose which item to iterate so you can see this is actually the name of the screen component we have to go inside it and then this is the repeater component inside which there is a form okay and this is all item this is actually the output of that repeater component which we are going to iterate over because it consists of all the data framed into collection so we have to iterate over this one okay so iterations will be done now we will do the assignment so we have to map whatever user has given the input in that repeater form we have to iterate that and map it with our respective s object so for that we have to use this assignment operator assign contact record okay so we have to create a new resource first it will be of type contact object let's name it as contact record data type will be record and we have to select the particular s object from here so this is what we have to map with and each and every field needs to be mapped so i will map the first name with first name equals so whatever the iteration is happening now i uh, i mean the current item from loop that is it is actually iterating that form that we have entered and it will take the first name out of that assign it to our variable then we have to similarly we have to map other variables as well we already have this contact record variable created then we have to assign last name into it current item from loop <clears throat> then last name and the third variable as well contact record account equals current item from loop and this account so this account lookup component actually returns two values one is record id and one is record name so we want to use this account id that is record id and not the record name we don't need to do anything with the record name we need the id of that account that needs to be assigned into that lookup variable one more assignment that we have to do that is we have to create a new resource a collection resource so as you know the best practice of salesforce says that you have you always perform dml or insert update operations in a bulk so we'll have a collection variable which will store all these new contacts in one list and we'll create i mean we use a single create element to insert these records so let's name it as contact list to insert all right and again the record type will be i mean the data type will be record but this time it will be a collection so i'll check this box called allow multiple values and here i will select contact as my object so it will be a list of contacts and after assigning the value i will just add that contact record every time into this list so no dot or dot operator here the entire contact record i am just adding into this list every time i am performing the assignments so this is done now and at the end of the loop we just have to insert that list of contacts so we'll make use of create records element create contacts mm -hmm. and choose multiple here and you can directly select the contact list from as you can see under this 
select values to create multiple records we do not have access to that repeater component all items because that all items is a generic collection it has no s object assigned to it it doesn't know that my all items will be going to be a list of contact or list of account so it do not know any uh, data type or s object type that it will be created as so it is a generic collection which will be not supported by this list component that this create component here so we have to take that uh, input from there assign it properly and create our own s object type list and then insert that record so i'll save it activate it now and then you can simply use this flow in your anywhere of the screen maybe home screen or record page lightning app page anywhere edit we can edit this page and add the component so it will look very much similar to this page only and we can do the testing as well we'll choose the flow component from here we'll drag it onto the onto the screen as well okay let's keep it on top and from the right hand side we'll just select our particular flow that we have created repeater repeater flow demo this is the one that we have created activate so the remaining steps will be same that i initially shown in the beginning of the video itself it will look like this we can make use of this add button to repeat the particular screen component multiple times so here it is you can start adding multiple records so i hope this video was useful let me know if you have any queries in the comment section thank you